Hello to everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to change your Samsung Galaxy A72 uh, display and uh, frame and also the rear cover. So I have a Galaxy A72 which I dropped and suddenly there's no image on the screen at all, no light at all. So it, the screen is completely dead. So I ordered a new screen which comes with uh, battery and uh, frame as well, as you can see. Okay, for the beginning, get your tools ready and everything you need. I also got a rear cover. It's a new full back cover, so because the old one was, was having some scratches and it's only like uh, maximum five euros if you know where to look for it usually online on uh, cheaper shops it's maximum five euros so it's a better grade it really worth buying as it's very cheap so get your front ready and preferably a magnetic board as well so you can uh, put the screws in order after you take them off in order to begin you will need this type of uh, clip to remove the rear cover of your Samsung Galaxy in order to do that press the sharp edge so the sharpest edge press it somewhere in between the frame and cover I already did this so it easily comes off in my case but I've just put it back in order to show you how and after you after you put the, this plastic uh, clip just go like this all over the edge by pressing it upwards don't press towards uh, the front board so you won't uh, get uh, any bands or something caught so I just removed the rear cover as you can see <coughs> now in order to continue I only the Phillips screwdriver Okay, so I'm using a Philips 1.5 millimeters. Philips head screwdriver, sorry. As you can see, I bought uh, this uh, G facet. It's a very good uh, uh, they are very good tools. So start on screwing the screws and don't forget always put them on a magnetic board or something if you don't have a magnetic board then you can just get a piece of papers uh, of paper and uh, put it through push it through the paper push the screw to the paper in the order you took them off from your phone in order to remember where each screw was because some screws are uh, shorter and some are longer don't rush it's uh, usually when you are with mobile phones you need to, to work slow in order to do everything as it should
okay I'm getting almost all the screws out they are like same size but uh, usually they aren't so always place them in exact order which um, you took them off as uh, after a while uh, that you will wake up that um, some screws don't fully go in and uh, you can't put the cover on or many many other troubles and headaches you can get if you don't uh, put them in exact order which you took them off Okay, so I finished um, uh, removing the screw, the screws in the upper part. Now I will um, remove the upper part. Or cover, or how you want to call it. Okay, so here you have the main Speaker, I think. Oh no, it's actually the upper speaker. Just blow some air on it. So as you can see, this is the uh, ear speaker, which you can hear on while you are uh, on a call and you are not on speaker. Okay. Make sure you have enough room to put aside every piece you, get, you are getting out. <coughs> and now, first step you need to do after removing the upper cover. Um, I forgot to mention exactly. So, first step you always need to do before starting to work on a mobile phone, disconnect the battery. So, you need to do this in order to disconnect the battery. And then you can do whatever you want. But you are no longer in danger of damaging or shorting some circuits you know <coughs> okay so after disconnecting the battery disconnect this uh, I'm not even sure if it's disconnectable maybe not Oh yeah, it is. So with something um, a bit sharp, I used my uh, nail to remove it. It was easier than using this thing because I was not sure if it's um, it's uh, a connector or if it's uh, glued or uh, soldered. Sorry. Okay, so I disconnected the main cable, and I also need to disconnect this antenna cables okay so now the upper part is disconnected I can uh, easily remove it I think I'm not 100% sure honestly let's see Okay, now the next two, the next things you need to remove is uh, the front camera, and you need to assemble it on the new display. 
as you can see on the new display you have a thin plastic cover in order to cover the camera place which will be installed so dust won't get in so we are trying to make sure we get a clean lens you know not a full of dust lens <coughs> So slowly pull the antenna cables. Sorry, I didn't know it's not visible what I'm doing right here. And then lift up. Slowly lift, try to lift up the board, the main board. And always, always double check, sorry, double check for screws as you can see. I have an extra screw right here which holds the board in place. So I need to take off this as well. Make sure to put it aside and put it back in. It's very important to do that. And now I think I will be able to lift the board yes i am as you can see Okay, so I forgot to to eject the SIM tray card, SIM card tray, and I was not able to easily remove the upper part of the board. So don't forget to first thing you need to do always remove the SIM card tray from your phone. Don't leave any SIM cards in. Don't leave any uh, memory cards in. <coughs> it's very important. This is before the battery. So the second thing is the battery. And then you have the front camera and the other four cameras, one, two, three, four, as you can see. Make sure on the new screen that you will remove this uh, cover of the front camera. And now easily from the upper side to the down, downer side, push the board in. Okay. You can also disconnect every camera in uh, every camera, but uh, it's not necessary to do that because there are four different cameras. All uh, I think all of them are uh, having independent connectors. So put the screw back in, this screw ensures that the board does get in the, and make sure you also press the, the front camera, you need to press it a little bit so it will go inside that uh, dedicated space. Don't touch the camera lens, you will um, you will make it dirty and then you will struggle to get quality pictures <coughs> okay so second thing you need to do so, and which i forgot to mention is to disable this uh, 
this is the I think the vibration motor it is um, glued it has some bit of glue or something Okay, I'll come back with part of the video.